our aim in life is to enable better use of data via the web to help people create impact. So it feels like I'm in the right place. I think you know, everyone here is, is interested is in how do we use data to create more impact or, or of the kind that we all want to achieve. So what we actually do to make our small contribution to this big problem is we make a, a software product and we provide that together with some services mostly to public sector organizations who want to share some data, generally openly licensed um, non-personal data, um, via the web to, to um, the kind of people that want to use it. And of course, there's no point in them spending the, their money and, and effort in doing that unless people actively use it. And you know, the kind of, of uses we're thinking of are, are essentially um, various um, kinds of enabling better informed decision making. So a lot of that in, in the, the examples that we were working with is around um, the public sector and sort of um, optimization of, of public services or um, evaluating of policy, that kind of thing. But whether it's um, public sector or, or private or, or, or third sector or, or community groups or whatever, generally what people are trying to do is they're trying to work out how best to spend their money and effort to achieve some particular goal. And you know those decisions range from where am I going to go to for dinner tonight to where should we build this new school um, to uh, the kind of example that Roger mentioned of how does um, um, a health professional predict where the, the resources are going to need to be allocated and try to um, to offset problems before they happen to the kind of very big and complex questions that Des was just saying of if you've got 1.3 billion to spend to try and improve the regional economy, what's the best way to spend that and how do you know if you've done it right or not? So I think the kind of the important thing about that impact creation is that there are an uncountable number of different kinds of impact that, that you might want to create. And all of the interesting and important problems are very complicated and generally re require data from lots of different sources collected in different ways. So I think the way that we try and think about this challenge is that um, before someone creates a positive impact, so deciding um, you know, what's the, the best medical treatment for some kind of condition or what's the best way to run our education system. Before you get to that point, that decision maker has to be informed by, um, by some complex analysis, by, by a, a skilled data analyst. That data analyst needs to get hold of their data and to understand what it means. That data needs to have been collected and processed and, and managed by someone. So we're kind of going upstream in, in what is a fairly complicated and supply chain, a kind of value chain, if you like, that, that has lots of steps. And you only get to the point of creating some impact at the end of it if all of the steps in that value chain exist and are well supported. So I think where we face big challenges at the moment, you know, we've got massive opportunities, but also we're, we're not achieving those opportunities as quickly as we might. So one is just a kind of, the, there aren't enough good data analysts around. So it was great to hear what, what Jill was just saying about the, the work of the data lab to try and, you know, the kind of almost creating a new profession of data scientists that is, is, is bringing together uh, if some traditional data analysis skills with working with different kinds of data and, and different ways of delivering data to, to, to meet some of these, these problems. And we definitely need a lot more of them. I mean, I think we, we see that in our, our government work that there's a lot of data there, but it could be used much more effectively if more people working in, in those organizations had the right skills to exploit it. Some of it's just an awareness problem. They don't you know, know what's possible, but some of it is um, that there's only a small number of people that do it, and they're, the good ones are always vastly overworked and, um, and underfunded and so on. So kind of... Increasing the size of that profession is, is, is a very important thing. But I think the, the, the big obstacle for us is that this is really still a, a cottage industry. Um, that uh, uh, the analysis work that goes into um, supporting these kind of decisions 
you're dealing with generally highly skilled um, analysts, but um, if they were um, cabinet makers, they'd still be going out and chopping down their own trees. The, you know, anyone who's actually tried to do this sort of data analysis work know that you spend, I think somebody's quoted a figure of 80% of your time um, gathering and cleaning the data. And I think our value chain here is, is crying out for some industrialization. Um, you know, we need some standardization, um, enable kind of componentization, um, enable things to be automated. Um, so that the work of the data analyst can be that much more efficient because we have, let's say, thousands of different kinds of, of problems that need to be solved and we don't want each of those people to go out into the forest to start chopping down their own trees. You know, the, 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 the upstream parts of this process can, um, can be improved. And so one of the projects that, that we've done is the, the one that, um, that Roger mentioned. We've worked with the... Uh, with his department in the Scottish government on the statistics.gov.scot site. And I think one of the reasons that I think that has gone very well and, and relatively smoothly is that the uh, that Rogers Group has responsibility for a, a wide range of different topics of, of data. And so we're able to apply a bit of um, central standardization and good practices to data about health and crime and education and environment and, and so on. And, and therefore come up with a, a data resource which is um, kind of w well integrated with itself, if you like, and um, covers a broad range of things and therefore can support, has a lot of standardization built into it and so can support um, effective use of, use of that in lots of different ways and effective combining of data about different topics in, in a single way. So that's all very well, but say if you look at the kind of broader picture of government where, um, you know, what if you want to combine that data from, from Roger's group with stuff from DWP or from local authorities or from, um, from businesses. So there's a big standardization challenge there and, um, and the lack of that standardization I think is, is the thing that gives data analysts who should be doing highly skilled work, an awful lot of donkey work that they have to do before they can, they can get there. So what I think we should be doing to try to increase that impact is to look at each step in that um, value chain and, and think, you know, what can we do to, um, to move to a kind of more mature model of, of delivering all of that stuff. And we see ourselves as sitting somewhere in the middle of that. We're kind of providing tools that help um, the owner or, or manager of, of some collection of data to curate it and deliver it to people in ways that save time for the analysts. But our bit of the of the puzzle can only work if somebody else is collecting data and you, obviously there are all kinds of new ways of collecting data available now. Someone has to collect that and to process that and to document it and to deliver it in a way that is amenable to use. And similarly, our our bit of the puzzle is, is of no use whatsoever unless there are data analysts out there who can take that data and, and apply it to a problem. And so you know, part of our work is to try to make life easy for data analysts. So um, I suppose kind of what I'm saying is that I think our, we should be trying to do and, and you know, groups like this can hopefully contribute to that is to think about how these different roles in that um, in the final delivery of impact, have to work together and try to um, find a move towards um, uh, less of a cottage industry and, and more of a, a sort of industrial revolution of um, of creating impact from data. Thank you.